I felt so fearless because I didn't know how to be afraid. I didn't know how to recognize or name my fears or insecurities. I didn't have any emotional training in my younger years because emotions didn't seem to matter much where I came from. My intellect, not my emotions, would advance my studies, my career, and my life. I learned that if I let them, emotions would get in the way of my success, and success mattered the most to me. Crying was a flaw, vulnerability was a weakness, being scared was a hindrance. I understood that courage was the antidote to anything that sparked a fear impulse. Courage, in whatever way it showed up, was rewarded, especially if it helped me become a better student, a better wife, a better employee. My way through life was to be armored up with toughness. I put on my big girl panties and jumped into everything with boldness and bravery. The secret I never told anyone is that I always knew how brave and bold I wanted to be. Without being aware of it, my go-to courage remedy for all of life's ills solidified into a complex facade of fearlessness. It was a mask I wore without realizing I was wearing a mask.